Huh. Hello and good morning YouTube. Um, I had a bit of spare time today. Um, we've been off work and the weather's not too great so I thought I'd do um, a review of my Shoei NXR helmet. Um, I've been watching quite a lot of YouTube recently um, and there's some fantastic videos out there both for bikes and helmets and boots and gear and, 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 and all the other bits and bats so I thought it's about time I put something back so I'm going to do a, a quick five minute review on the Shoei NXR. Now this is my Shoei NXR Terminus TC6, I think it's called. I think it's a Terminus TC6. Um, retails for £399.99. Um, don't ask me what it is in the States or other places in Europe. I couldn't tell you. Um, this is mine. I've had it for six months now. Um, and before we start, what I'll do, I'll, I'll read out all the technical bump that's on the uh, on Shoei's website to tell you about the helmet. Um, it's an AIM shell, multiple density EPS liner, EQRS security system, that's the um, quick release system for the, the cheek pads, um, double D ring retention system, that's your chin strap, four shell sizes, I guess extra small, small, medium and large, or somewhere near that, um, 3D interior pads for comfort. Well, I thought all pads were 3D, I don't know if you get a 2D one, but anyway. Uh, optional rear, sorry, not rear, optional ear pads to decrease ambient noise. Um, I've got the, as you can see, I've got the Interphone FM uh, C6 fitted, so I've got um, integral speakers, so I don't have that option for the, um, for the ear pads. Uh, four inlet vents on the front and six outlets for... Uh, circulation. Uh, I don't know where these outlets are. Um, I know where the four inlets are, but the six outlets, no, that's, a, that's a mystery. Uh, integrated spoiler for improved aerodynamics, uh, breath guard and chin curtain, CW, CWR1 pin lock, um, adjustable base plates, improved helmet baseline, whatever that is, uh, and it is ECE 2205 compliant and ACU Gold approved. So you get a little sticker on the back. Uh, as I said, this is my helmet. <coughs> I'll give you a quick, uh, a quick tour. There we go. That's the side. There, as you can see, um, <coughs> it's quite an aggressive um, profile on the side. Uh, more Street Fighter um, sort of design. Um, there you can see the rear spoiler on the back. There we go. That's one of those outlets they were talking about for the air, which is on this switch just here. There we go. Um, there's your ACU gold sticker. Um, the sticker next to it, this one here, um, that tells you the weight, which is 1310 grams. Um, and 1350, what does that say? 1350 with optional parts. Now I guess they must be the breath guard and the um, chin cover, the chin guard. And turn the helmet round to the other side. Uh, again, this is um, uh, this is my GoPro mount. Um, the decal underneath just carries on straight through. It's just the strap just carries on straight through. Um, and then, as I said before, it's got the EQRS, which is the emergency um, pull red tab and remove cheek pads. And those are the red tabs, just there. Just pull those, and the cheek pads will come out. One there and one there. Uh, that isn't one. That's just the uh, part of the, the um, cushioning for the rear of your head. So there you go. Um, now, like I say, I bought this six months ago, and um, in the winter, uh, it's not it's not too bad. There's quite a bit of airflow, 
um, coming in up, up, up from underneath and that tends to go <coughs> up across your face uh, and if it's really cold it can make, you, make your eyes water. The visor isn't a standard visor. Um, I chose a, a, a darker visor from Shuey. Um, and the both visors I've got are both pin lock. This has a pin lock fitted. I do have the other visor somewhere. I must have put that down somewhere. Um, there's your breath guard. That's removable. That just pulls out. There you go. If you don't want that piece, you don't need that piece. Um, one criticism is that the lock isn't isn't fantastic. Um, I do prefer the, the sliding ones on, on my um, Arai. Uh, the vents, easy enough to get to. One, two, three, and finally, four. So those are the four inlets you've got. All accessible with your gloves on, and you can set them to half or full. Um, that one is infinitely variable, whether you want to do that with your glove on, I don't know. Um, outlets, like I said before, um, I know you've got one switchable one at the back, that one there. Um, where the others are, I have to clue, there doesn't seem to be any underneath. That's the that's the inside. Uh, that yellow tape there is holding my um, microphone uh, for the GoPro and this microphone here is for the um, FN so you don't really can see that in there. Um, like I said before, double D-rings. Um, the entire um, liner is removable, just give it a pull, click, click, and off she pops. That's it, that's as easy as that, that's it, it all comes out. Um, front as well, and the top, all comes out. Um, really quite a, um, a comfortable, very lightweight helmet. Um, the spoiler at the back does tend to sort out any, any buffeting at, at high speeds. Um, definitely quite very stable. Uh, I ride a, a, a naked bike, um, so you obviously you get a lot of wind on your head. Um, but that definitely smooths things out. So there you go. That's my review on the Shuey NXR. Perfectly good helmet for the, for the price. Um, yes, I'd buy one again. Uh, do I prefer the Arise? Yeah, I find the Arise a little bit quieter, um, but it, it's one of those. Um, try it and see. Go enjoy, guys. Thanks again.